I've always had a key trait that you need in a scientist, really, and that's curiosity. You know, right from a young age, I've always asked why. You just keep asking why, asking why, asking why. And uh, at some point, uh, I began to read scientific journals just to understand how things work. I'm Nicholas Adirinto. Uh, I'm a medical doctor and I'm also a researcher. Uh, my focus is neurology. Uh, I've always been fascinated about the brain. When you come to things like epilepsy, uh, the portrayal in movies, you know, in music, in your community, you know, it, it seemed like uh, it's demonized. I, I saw that um, there was a kind of a, a level of uh, apathy towards neurological condition in Africa. I think you need a lot of public education. Uh, that's lacking. It's people in villages that do not have access to internet. You need to go there and explain to them and say, okay, what exactly happens in epilepsy? Okay, the brain is discharging uh, electrical signals when it should not be. That is what is happening. So it's not some, something so scary or mysterious you know, when parents come in with their, their kids. It's usually so painful, so saddening for the parent that you need to sit them down, explain to them, this is a treatable condition, we can manage it, your child can live a good life. As a doctor and as a researcher, you got the feeling that now I'm making, uh, I'm changing perceptions and we are breaking those barriers down. And uh, it gives you a feeling that you, you are making an impact, you know. With uh, Wiley's uh, extensive ed science journal portfolio, uh, I'm always sure that my research will reach the right people and um, make a great impact. I love having the opportunity to work with researchers. I think they're incredibly important in terms of moving science forward and solving real world problems. So at Wiley, we're here to ensure that every researcher can find a place to publish their work. Uh, we're here to make sure that they can disseminate it to as wide an audience as possible and really maximise the impact of all of the hard work that they're doing. And I love that Wiley can support them in that journey and help them to collaborate with others and really, really move the needle. I think it's great. Collaboration is the heart of every true research endeavour. It involves sharing ideas, sometimes sharing resources. Uh, no true research can be done as an individual. Dr. Nicholas is such a good collaborator because he has the idea, the mission in mind. Uh, a good collaborator should be someone who knows what is at stake and who knows what we need to do. And that is what Nicholas does. If you pitch an idea to him, he can immediately see where you are coming from, where you are going, and that way we are able to work together without any glitches. So I give it to him. He's a great collaborator. And Nicholas is very visionary. He's very driven, very knowledgeable. So he knows how to get at what he wants to get at. He's a go-getter. So when we share a vision together, when we have a project together, he collaborates, he brings in his A-game 100%, actually more than 100%. And he does that so effortlessly and so consistently. And at the end of the day, you're done with one project and you can't wait to start another one. Dr. Adarinto is making a huge impact in his community. And it's amazing to know that Wiley played a part in that by enabling him to publish his research open access. An open access article receives more citations, it receives more downloads, and it maximises the impact of the research. It's disseminated to a much wider audience and also a more diverse audience, which is incredibly important. Um, it ensures that research is getting to the people who actually need to see it and the people that are most affected by it. And I think that's one of the, the most important, most significant benefits of open access. Imagine if someone from uh, let's say the United States can read a paper that could be life-changing and someone from Nigeria cannot read that kind of paper just because it doesn't have an institutional access or cannot pay. Uh, it keeps widening the gap that we want to close in science. It breaks down barriers, it lets more people see your work, it gets you cited and it helps advance the course of science. It's important to, to read those journals because um, science cannot be done in an isolation. You need to crossbreed knowledge from other people. You know, as we, we are talking currently, there are people in the lab working 
around the clock and you need the input of one to, to make life better. And science is usually a continuum. It's improvement over what someone has done and then you use it to improve your own work. The next generation comes in and, and all of that. And at the, at the end of the day, the aim of science is to help humanity. When you put all of that together, um, you are doing great stuff for humanity.